Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going on the uh, Ring Smart Lights. I opened this and totally forgot we were recording. We got the floodlight and the path light just to start to try it out. There will be way more coming in the future, but I think it's going to be really cool. We got the bridge inside, but it's getting kind of dark and it's starting to sprinkle. So we're going to get this done with. So let's go hook up this floodlight. All right, so when you open the box, you get a protected by ring sticker. Now, I don't quite understand that, but I love stickers. So we'll use that, but it's not really a protection device. Um, yeah, then you open it up. And it's kind of weird how this puts out 8,000 lumens. And it only has about three lights. So we will definitely see how this works. But it looks kind of cool. And uh, let me get into the uh, screwing and stuff, and we'll get over there and hook it up. All right, so you have to get four D batteries for these. Um, I would recommend getting the uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium because that's what they recommend for the blank cameras. But that is what we'll get in the future. So you got to put batteries in here. And finally, for the fifth time, we will get over to the light. All right, so you get screws. Now this is wood, so you do not have to anchor it. Thank you. Uh, so basically, you put the mount up, not like that. You have to make sure this arrow that you can probably barely see is facing upwards. And I'm gonna put it up a little bit higher than that. But yeah, then when you got that up, I'm gonna put one light facing this way and put one light facing that way. And then we gotta go set up my path light up up and then the bridge. So let's get in. You can find me on a cliff side. All they do is overlook me. Yeah, the things on pan, I'll keep it cooking. You're not a fan, but you keep on looking. Look, don't be concerned with what people say. All right, so we angled the lights now. Uh, is that take that pen heck in uh, And yeah, so we screwed it up there and we uh, clamped it on. So basically, uh, well, it's up there now. But uh, basically what you do is you take it and you know just click it on. You'll see in the instructions. But uh, yeah, so later on we'll come out here at, uh, when it's darker and see what the lights look like. But this is the motion sensor and it's covering this side basically and this side and i know i say basically a lot according to other people that watch my videos so i'm actually coming out with a clothing line called basically by seawig so stay tuned for that now we are doing the path light now we have a nice little steak pointy edge <laughs> and now we have the light see how see why it was such a big box now he thought there was like three of these things in here I know, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's supposed to put off some good light. So, see what will determine this. Uh, oh, I forgot, you gotta put the batteries in it. Dang it, batteries. Let me go put the batteries in it. All right, so I got the batteries in. Now, I know it is a little bit bright right now, but once you get it into the ring app, you can brighten it more. So yeah, let me uh, screw the little steak in here. Dude. It's like a needle. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. I broke it. <laughs> Dude, what the? Christian, you're supposed to put the steak in it first. You know, I just realized that. <laughs> Dude, I'm a great reviewer, guys. This is why I don't do this on a regular basis. Jesus, that shouldn't be going anywhere. It actually looks kind of modern and sick. All right, it's in there. Not a fun way. I don't know if we have like rocks in our backyard or what the heck it is. But after all this junk, got another protection sticker. All right, so we're done with this. Now we got to go set up the bridge. Yeah. All right. So basically, my new clothesline is coming out soon. Uh, I am putting this right here. Probably. Um, might be another clothing line. Uh, so you got to get the screwed. Don't need anchors. Once again, not stuck. Up. And you know what? I can't see those holes. So. Put it right there, or like, let's just put it down low profile. You take this thing, 
and you go vroom, 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 vroom. Like that. And uh, this isn't going to be in wind, so we're just going to only use one screw. And then you just swipe that right through there. But first, I'm going to figure out how to plug it in. So you got your little uh, Type A micro USB wire. You just unscrew these little things. And just like a normal device, you plug it into the wall. And this basically takes the light, smart lighting to the Wi-Fi. All right, so now that I got power, you just plug it in, stick it in here, and then push. And it's in there. So now, I'm gonna connect it with the Ring app. All we have right now is cameras. So this is new. So I'm gonna do set up a new device, smart lighting, my address, of course I have to scan it. Alright. So, find a nice spot. We have a router right here. So I think we're good. Um, uh, plug in your bridge. Well, you wouldn't have found it if I didn't have it plugged in. Uh, uh, did yep blue light is flashing connecting it. I thought you already found it. See this is confusing Come on Jeff Bezos. You can do better than that. So we'll wait for this to connect Basically all of these motion sensors on these lights Connect to the ring floodlight cam which is wired and it will record any motion Video if any of these lights have motion and that is incredible to me and I think it'll be really good, especially Christmas time coming up. Everybody wants to come rob your packages. Uh, think about buying a couple path lights for the front yard so our ring doorbell can get in on those. So, yeah, this is a very good feature, and uh, I highly recommend this ring smart lighting. All right, so it is a day later, and I decided to get better use out of these lights. We need to buy two more for the front yard because I switched the other one to the front yard. So we're going to get a two-pack of the black path lights here at Home Depot. And I was also looking at this guy, but we'll get it later. It's for stairs, but we'll try that out later on uh, for another video. So let's go. All right, so we are back home, and I have this one light that I moved out here. It's just lit up, and uh, I have a camera woman and battery girl out here helping me. So yeah. All right, so we have the lights right here, and. Uh, so we're going to get them out and put the batteries in them and uh, so here's the stakes and there's a little arrow pointing on it that's where the sensor that's where the sensor is pointed so we're going to put one right here so we'll put the sensor pointing right that way i'll push it down and then the same thing with the arrow we're going to point it over where there's motion so let me get that all fixated up and put the batteries in these and I will see how they Okay guys, so the reason I filmed this video in dark is because these are lights. They're supposed to put out light in the dark, right? So, uh, ooh, bad lighting. All right, so um, basically, new clothing line, seawigbrand.com, all information there. It is coming. Uh, yeah, so i have talk about it a little bit after in the next clip. But yeah, so look at these lights. So there's all three of them. They're the three bright lights if you don't know. And so I'm just walking up my path here that you cannot see. Uh, and just like an intruder, I walk up. Well, not an intruder, but someone. And uh, they all turn on. Just like that. Now this one is wet. So it looks a little weird. But it still turns, it's, I mean, it, you can't really tell on camera, but this has a medium because uh, this is the driveway light. So this is the has a medium frequency of putting off light. But these two, that's why it took a little while. When I got up to about right here, it turned on, and yeah. So and it kind of doubled as a little <coughs> spotlight for the ADT sign. But uh, yeah, so these are these lights. Uh, I thought they were pretty cool, but yeah, let's go back up to the room 
and I record the Okay, so that concludes the Ring Smart Lighting video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I, you learned something and I want to buy this because overall it's pretty cool. If you can buy a lot more, it would be a lot cooler for the things, but we will get more in the future. But yeah, until that day, this concludes this video. And I know I've been talking a lot about the clothing line in this video, little jokes here and there. Now, that actually is a thing. Uh, here is a sneak peek of one of the shirts I've designed just now. But I will get more into that in another video, probably a full video dedicated to that. And I'll be designing a website, I'd say, about 10 days for that to come out, for me to design everything. And yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned something from it. And I'll see you guys on another one and more updates to come. And remember, always you can get updates on everything I put on my store on Instagram, CWIC13. And there are always updates on there. Anyway, yeah. So I'll see you guys on one. Peace out.